My name is Luke Namien. I am the Community and Corporate Partnerships Manager here at Sacred Heart Community Service. And I'm also one of the co-founders of Black Outreach San Jose and Feed the Block. Uh, some people in the community on the Black Outreach side know me as Lou Dimes. Hi everyone, my name is Liz. I am the Social Justice Manager here at Sacred Heart Community Service. My name is Christopher Logan and I am a Community Organizing Manager at Sacred Heart Community Service. Hi, my name is Mary Jessie Slostin and I'm the Founder and Director of San Jose Strong. Black History Month for me means a chance to study and to learn about things that you didn't know about in the past. Um, one of my favorite sayings is to be ignorant of what occurred before you were born is to always remain a child. Black History Month to me means a time to highlight and showcase the richness of black history, whether that be exploring cool accomplishments that folks have done, radical game-changing historical decisions and activism, and just the everyday life experience of the black community. When I think about Black History Month, I think about the many conversations that I had with my mother and my grandparents about the sacrifices that black people had to make in order for me to live and thrive in this country. I think about my grandfather talking about how he grew up in Texas, and he would literally have to get off the sidewalk if there was a white woman walking on it, or his life would be in danger. Or the many times my mother told me about the black people who died who were beaten in jail just so that I could have the right to vote. I know that right now I'm living out the dreams of my ancestors. But to me it really is like a time to celebrate black history and like celebrate the impact that black people have had on our communities. So while Black History Month is a designated, highlighted time, honestly every day should be a consideration because it's a part of all history. A little bit about my organization, Black Outreach. Black is an acronym, stands for Black Liberation and Collective Knowledge, uh, which is what we stand for, the liberation of black people physically, financially, socially, and economically, and collective knowledge of all people and the intersectionality that goes along with that. I didn't start out thinking I was gonna start San Jose Strong. What happened was in the wake of the protests going on in downtown San Jose, my family lives in downtown San Jose, I was really frustrated with how local media was portraying the protests and also just overwhelmed by the oversaturation of information on the national scale. And so I said, let's take this national conversation around Black Lives Matter and center it in San Jose. And so I made a infographic Instagram guide on how to get involved as a resident of San Jose with details on how to protest safely in downtown. So when I talk to people about what I do at Sacred Heart Community Service, I like to explain it in the way that I train people to become leaders in their community so that they can take the issues and the desires that they have to politicians and decision makers um, and they can explain to them what they want and need in order to thrive. Uh, my job at Sacred Heart as the social justice manager is to sort of get our volunteers involved in our social justice work. So I do um, a lot of recruiting of volunteers to join our committees. Um, one of our committees is called REX and for that committee I'm a staff organizer and um, REC stands for Race, Equity, and Community Safety. And so the things that we're organizing for with REC are um, achieving racial equity with community safety, with community programs that are ultimately gonna make our community safer. So the hope that I have for future generations of black people is that they will be deeply connected with their own power, that they will know that they are not victims to anyone or anybody, but they are in, in change agents that we need to make a difference in our, in our community. Uh, my hope for future generations of black youth and the black community in general is that they don't have to fight for the same things I'm fighting for, just like the previous generation was hoping that we wouldn't have to fight for the same things that they were fighting for. And so as we look to this next generation, just getting the full experience of being a black person and being a person first versus a black person first, that's something that I'm hopeful for in, in future generations and that we can celebrate our blackness while just getting to exist as a person in and of itself.